Okay, so we're back and we're going to talk about looping. Um, in computer programming, uh, looping will save you a lot of time, especially when you have to repeat a number of code, a number of lines of code, um, you know, X amount of times. Um, a loop, will, what it will do is it will allow you to repeat uh, a certain block of code uh, as many times as you specify or while a certain condition is satisfied so there are different there are a few different kind of loops the the most basic of all loops is the for loop okay now a for loop um, let me just write it out here for you for and then we need to have a counter so int ver var i colon int equals zero so that's the counter a variable called i and we're going to start it at zero and then while i is less than 10 i plus plus so that's your basic syntax right there so what you're saying is you're declaring a variable called i and you're starting it at zero now the loop will continue as long as i is less than 10 and at the end of the loop you're telling it to i++ plus plus, which means which means to increment i so it's going to be uh, 10 times uh, this loop will run through what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put trace and I'm actually going to trace out the i variable and uh, we'll put the two string method just to make sure that it uh, goes to a string when we do this. So I'm going to compile and run. And you can see up here in the output panel, it was actually ran 0 all the way through till 9. And that's because we started the iterator at 0. And so it's actually ran 10 times. But um, the reason why it counts at 9 is because we started it at 0 right here. So um, if you needed to do something a certain amount of times, the for loop will definitely help you. And, uh, and that's all there is about for loops.